Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to a custom ROM users. So in this particular video, we'll see how to download and install the latest available firmware version for our beloved handset that is Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 with the version number 429 which is directly Android and Beta 3 version. So before we jump into the downloading and installation process, let me confirm you the installed firmware version on my phone and we'll again verify once the uh, upgradation process will be completed. So for that I am using firmware checker uh, utility or application. If you are not aware about this particular application, I have already created a dedicated video on the same in the past and I will be uh, like providing you the uh, URL for the same in the description box below so that you can go over afterward. So on my screen you are able to view that firmware version is 0.59 and in this video we will upgrade it to 4.29. And apart to this uh, you have to download few things but we will be discussing that in our uh, I would say blog and so on. So I have just opened the Chrome browser and I have already created a dedicated article for the same and the URL for the same again will be provided to you in the description box below so that you can go over afterward. Nothing major has been mentioned, few minor things which are needed for this particular downloading and installation process. So let's begin with that. So this is a build number and afterward this is a firmware update which is just 57.5 MB approximately which will upgrade your phone's firmware to the version 429 that is Android 10 Beta 3. Update method is using Telegram and Telegram link is provided by its AMEC or I would say AMEC. So this is a link for the Telegram but before we jump into this link there is an important note that you on your phone the Telegram app should be installed. If you are not aware we have also provided you a direct URL for the same on Google Play Store just tap it here and it will open an app on the Google Play Store. If it is already installed then it will look like this like open or uninstall otherwise it will show you install to install it. Let's move back to the uh, Chrome browser again. Once this particular telegram installation would be completed then you are good to go with uh, by tapping it here. Just tap it here and afterward it will ask do you want to open t.me that is telegram.me links with the telegram yes. Just once just for my convenience if you want you can select another part. So this is particular file that is firmware underscore 429.zip which is provided by AMEC or its AMEC. You just have to download it by default it will show you like down array. Just tap it and it will take nearly about 1 to 2 minutes depending upon your Wi-Fi connection, mobile data connection and so on. Once it will be completed it will look like this. Afterward you just have to tap on these three dots. Tap it here and afterward just tap on save to download. Once you will do this it will be downloaded directly to your uh, file manager. Let me show you that as well. So you have to just go into the download folder. And afterward it will look like this firmware underscore 429.zip. So now let's move to the preceding steps before we jump into the actual installation process. So now uh, like you have already downloaded this process but before we jump into the installation there are a few prerequisites or requirements that needs to be cleared out as well during this video. So like backup your data just for the safer side charge your phone's battery at least 50% or more but I always recommend 80% or more just for the safer side. Afterward remove pin pattern password otherwise it will not allow you to log into your phone if you are entering uh, even entering the correct password need, needed and important too. Again this is a precautionary note and I always do this with the all the android and beta version uh, firmware and I will also recommend it so please do it otherwise afterward we will say that from, uh, brother I found, like flash this firmware and afterward it is asking me to uh, enter password and so on and there will be no solution you have to again flash the ROM and th this might uh, delete your internal storage data and so on. Finally the installation of firmware version 429 using TWRP recovery just flash in, flash this in TWRP mode after a, a wipe cache and alleyway can reboot the phone and finally the firmware would be installed on your phone. And these are our social handles. Uh, you can follow us and subscribe to us on any of these. Now directly jump into the recovery mode. So we have been booted to the TWRP custom recovery mode. So according to blog you have to tap on install button. And afterward you have to move to the folder where you have kept that particular firmware underscore 429 zip at your side. If you want to store it in micro SD card then you can keep it there either on OTG pendrive but for this particular video I am using internal story because I have downloaded this in my download folder. So after selecting this, this is a download option and this is that file firmware underscore 429. Just tap it here and swipe to confirm flash. 
it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds and afterward it will install it successfully like script succeeded result was 1.0 that is success updating partition details and done and so on before we jump into the rebooting process we have to clear out the wipe and cache dlv partition so that all the junk file behind this installation will be completed now we are good to go with the reboot system let's wait till that time we jump into the or directly boot into the login screen or home screen and afterward i'll confirm you the installed version on my uh, phone as well so finally we have been successfully booted to the home screen now let me open that firmware checker again and now it is it will show you okay it is needing uh, internet so after successfully connecting to the internet now it is showing me firmware version 429 so we have successfully upgraded from version 459 to 429 this is applicable to 060, 061, 63, 082, then after 407, 424 and so on. And apart to this, uh, whenever you'll be flashing this, uh, you might lose the wide one certification. So also do keep this, this thing in your mind uh, because uh, I'm not getting the wide one certification to L1 since I have flash Android 10 beta one firmware version. So this thing needs to be done uh, while keeping, or I would say this thing needs to be in your mind while flashing this particular uh, firmware version. So this was all from my side to how to download and install the latest available firmware version with the version 429 on your beloved handset ASUS and for Max Pro Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.